today's video i am going to evaluate a problem from complex integration so in this video i am going to evaluate using cauchy's theorem that is integral z cube e power minus z by z minus 1 whole cube where c is modulus of z minus 1 is equal to half see here here is the solution so what is the curve given here given curve is modulus of z minus 1 is equal to half so which means that it is the equation of the circle with center 1 and radius half that is 0 0.5 so this is clearly a circle this is clearly a circle c with center c with center at 1 and radius 0 0.5 see here this is the origin point and this is 1 and if you observe this is y axis and this is x axis so here half is the radius so this will be see here this is 0 0.5 and this is 1.5 so with center 1 and 0 0.5 as radius and this is the circle and see here so this is the circle with center at 1 and radius is 0 0.5 so if you observe this one integrand has only one singular point z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1 is inside the circle c if it's inside the circle c we can apply cauchy's theorem see here the integrand has the singular point has only one singular point 1 singular point that is z is equal to 1 so z is equal to 1 is within the circle c therefore we can apply this one cauchy's integral formula according to the cauchy's integral formula we have f nth derivative of a is equal to n factorial by this is 2 pi i integral f of z dz by this is z minus a whole to the power of n plus 1 now we need to calculate this one which one so what is what is the question given here so we need this this function here this integral so in order to find this integral so this integral is transformed as f of z dz by z z minus a power n plus 1 is equal to we need this integral so i am sending this 2 pi i n factorial to other side so it will become 2 pi i by n factorial into f nth derivative of at a now what is the question here the question here is given as integral that is z cube e power minus z by z minus 1 whole cube into dz so this is dz so this one we have to integrate for that if we compare with this so what will be the n here what will be f of z so when we compare with this f of z value is equal to so f of z is equal to this is z cube e power minus z and see here this 3 can be written as 2 plus 1 so this 3 can be written as see here i am writing this 3 as 2 plus 1 when we compare with this what is our n value n is equal to 2 here and what what is the value of a so a is equal to 1 so these are all the values needed here and see if i substitute in this formula then this will become 2 pi i by n n it is nothing but 2 factorial f power which derivative second derivative that is double derivative at point 1 at the point 1 so in order to find this integral so if we use uh, Cauchy's theorem so this will be the answer so let's get started f of z is ready here we have to make the double derivative and keep in place of z as 1 see here what is z here z is equal to f of z is equal to this is z cube e power minus z I have to make double derivative with this the first derivative here will be f dash of z is equal to the first derivative here is uv rule the first one this is 
3 z square e power minus z I am leaving and next I am leaving this z cube and for e power minus z it is again e power minus z and for z this is minus. So this is the first derivative and if I make a second derivative here then this will become the second derivative here is 3 to the 6 z e power minus z. And see, now I am leaving this 3z square as it is and e power minus z is again e power minus z here minus. And see here, this is uv rule. So, this is 3z square e power minus z. And see here, this is a z cube e power minus z and again there is minus here. Now, we have to keep in place of z is equal to 1. If we keep z is equal to 1, f double dash at 1 is equal to 6 into 1 into e power minus 1. This is 3 into 1 square. It is again 1 e power minus 1. 3 into 1 into e power minus 1 minus 1 into e power minus 1. So, which is equal to 6 e inverse minus this is 6 e inverse minus e inverse. So, if I cancel this one, this will be minus e inverse so this is f double dash at 1 after getting this value now i'll substitute here f double dash at 1 as minus e inverse so if i substitute here in this see here in this if i substitute then what what is this value therefore integral this is z cube e power minus z dz by this is z minus 1 power 3 is equal to this is 2 pi i by 2 factorial into double derivative at 1. So, what is this double derivative at 1? So, which is equal to minus e inverse. So, if I cancel this one. So, this is 2 pi i. 2 factorial is nothing but 2. This is minus e inverse. So, if I cancel. So, what will be the answer? Minus pi i e inverse. So, what is the value here? Pi i into e inverse. So, here if you observe this one, so this is u and this is v. So, for z cube, I left this z cube and e power minus z is e power minus z. For again this minus z, this will be plus z. So, here there will be plus. So, here this is plus and here this is plus. And finally, this value is plus. Therefore, we got the final result as the final integral value as this is the integral that is z cube e power minus z dz by this is z minus 1 whole cube value is pi i e inverse. So, this is how we have to solve and let me explain you the question here is very clear. So, we have to evaluate this integral using Cauchy's theorem. So, here the circle is given with center 1 and radius half. So, here it is very clear that it is a circle with center 1 and radius half. Clearly, 1 is inside the circle C. Therefore, we can apply Cauchy's integral theorem. So, according to the Cauchy's integral theorem, f nth derivative of at a is equal to n factorial by 2 pi i into this one. So, we need this integral. So, I am sending this 2 pi i and n factorial to the other side. So, this will be the formula. So, this will be the formula. So, we need this integral. So, we have to compare these two. In place of f of z, we have z cube e power minus z. In place of a, <coughs> we have 1. And in place of n, so 3 can be written as 2 plus 1. So, n is equal to 2. So, if we substitute in this formula, 2 as uh, n as 2 and a as 1. So, this is the double derivative. So, we have f of z e z ready here so this is the first derivative and this is the second derivative so after keeping this z is equal to 1 we got this value as see here plus e inverse so this is plus e inverse and if i substitute in this formula and we got the final answer as pi i e inverse so this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and staying till the end please practice definitely you can solve by your own